guys are at the gym, you're going to do the same exact warm up every single workout. You can just print off your sheets and follow along. So we're gonna do 10 squat to stands, five lateral lunges on each leg, and then 10 push-ups. And you can definitely do push-ups on your knees or you can do a full push-up on your toes, whatever's gonna feel more comfortable. For your squat to stand, just make sure that your feet are wider than your hips and your toes are facing forward so that you actually get a stretch out of this. You're going to bend over, so you get a hamstring stretch first. Then you're going to drop your hips down as low as you can get and don't let your feet twist. Then reach your arms up and then stand up. So you're going to get a full body stretch and you're going to get all your joints to get some good movement in them. So as a profile, Toes face forward, bend over, drop the hips down, arms up, and stand up. So you're going to do 10 of these. Your lateral lunge is going to be wider and your toes, again, are going to face forward. You're going to counterbalance with your arms just so that you can allow yourself to get down as low as possible to stretch the inner and outer leg and the inner and outer ankle. So you just stretch your arms forward as much as you need to so you don't feel like you're gonna fall over. And again, the profile, you wanna have a flat back and make sure that the bending just comes from the hip, the knee, and the ankle, not your back. So we'll do five on each side every time you work out. Your final warm up is for your upper body, so you're gonna do a push up. You can either go down onto your knees Push your butt forward, lift your chest up, and look at the floor about three feet in front of you so that your neck stays straight. You're just gonna bend your elbows, press back up. You're gonna go for 10. If you feel that you can do a full push up, squeeze your butt really hard. Again, look at the floor about three feet in front of you. Bend and straight. And now you're ready to rock and roll. When you set up your bench press, it's important for you to sit at the edge so that when you roll back, you won't hit your head. So we're gonna sit at the edge, roll yourself back. You're gonna get your eyes directly underneath the bar and you're gonna use your thumbs and the bar to help you figure out where to place your hands. So you're gonna do a thumb measurement at the beginning of the scratchy part, the knurl. Your legs are gonna be wide and you're gonna be arching your back. This is more supportive for your chest than if you had a flat back position. So the legs are wide, your butt is active, you're pushing your legs apart, and you're gonna do your thumb measurement at the beginning of the scratchy part. Once you have that thumb measurement, you'll do a full grip. You're gonna lift the bar off the rack, pinch your shoulder blades together, and make sure that your knuckles are straight up to the ceiling. You're gonna do a big inhale, Hold your breath, pull the bar down, press it up, stay still, and exhale. Big inhale, hold your breath, pull it down, push it up, stay still, and exhale. You never want to breathe while you're under load. You don't want your spine to be moving back and forth while you're pressing 45 pounds or more up above your head. Your bent over row, you're again gonna keep your chest up and stick out your butt just like you're doing a deadlift. So I'll show you the profile. I have an underhand grip and my hands are just a little bit wider than my hips. I'm gonna bend over just a little bit and I'm gonna pull to the space between my belly button and my pubic bone. So it's gonna hit my low belly. This position is going to get my back right behind the shoulder blades. For your three point row, your feet are two points and your hands the third point. You're gonna bend your legs enough so that you can have a flat back. And stick out your butt and lift your chest up. I always pretend to get to a flat back, but there's a flashlight coming out my butt so that I can get a flat back instead of like a Halloween cat. So I'm gonna stick out my butt, keep my chest up. I'm gonna grab hold of my weight and I'm gonna pull back towards my hip. So there's a backward motion to it so that I don't go up and then shrug my shoulder and drop my head. So all the time, chest up, stick out the butt, pull back to the hip as you do this exercise. 
Reverse fly is going to get the back of your shoulders. You're gonna bend over into that half deadlift position again, sticking out the butt, keeping the chest up. Your arms are gonna be right below your shoulders and you're gonna look at the floor. You're gonna reach your arms up and then go back down. Reach the arms up and go back down. So you're gonna feel the whole back of your shoulders. Keep sticking out your butt, keep lifting the chest so that your spine stays nice and flat. Crisscross, begin on your back. Hug your knees into your chest, curl up to the base of your ribs so you can see your stomach. Keep your head up the whole time and put your hands behind your head like a prisoner. Extend your left leg and take your left elbow over to your right knee. Twist and change the legs as you twist. For an added bonus, look at your back elbow to stretch out your eyeball muscles. Mermaid, you can either have your legs stacked and off to the side, or you can set yourself up like a pinwheel with one shin in front and the other shin out to the side. Mermaid has three progressions. You're gonna hold on to your shin and stretch over. Place your hand down and slightly bend your elbow so you don't jam your shoulder up in your ear stretch over again. The second progression, your forearm is gonna go down onto the ground and you're gonna use the ground for leverage to stretch your rib cage. Stretch over again. Your final progression, you're just gonna rotate and let your arm drop and relax. When you do saw, your feet are gonna be wider than the mat or wider than your hips. Flex your toes up to the ceiling and put your arms out at a T. You're gonna twist, stretch down, Come back up and center at the same time. Twist, stretch down towards your toe, come back up and center.